All right, guys, I want you to meet an eight week old puppy. So this is TBD. <laughs> we don't know what name um, we're going to go with just yet, but he is the cutest thing in the world. So he's about eight weeks old um, and he is a <laughs> buddy. Come to the camera, buddy. He is a Jack Russell Terrier mix. Um, me and my family got a new puppy, and uh, we adopted him from a rescue. He is a rescue dog, uh, and we just went and picked him up last night. So here he is. I uh, I am a fan of the name Neville, but <laughs> like after Neville Longbottom. From Harry Potter. He's been trying to get to these treats for forever. Um, but uh, not not everyone in my fam is is a fan of Neville. But, you know, that's, uh, that's the name I'm gunning for right now for this little guy. <laughs> Buddy, get down. Come here. Yeah. He really wants to get up there. Uh, he currently hates his collar. But uh, he... He has to get used to it, so uh, we're sort of keeping it on him. Um, all right, we're gonna move these. I think that's what he's after. We have not given him a treat yet, though, and he doesn't even know what the word means, but I think he can smell whatever's in the bag there, and I was going to start training uh, pretty soon and uh, try and get him used to the house a little bit more and used to the collar and things. I bought a little book with instructions on how to start training. So I think I'm gonna be doing that today a lot. Here is his blankie. Yeah, you like this? So um, that blanket, uh, the uh, foster care people said they kept it on his mother for, you know, the whole time he was alive. So it smells like her. So. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> so he really likes that blanket. Is it not the treats that you want? What do you want from up there, dude? Oh, he's attacking. Okay, here we go. All right, yep. That's happening. Yeah, man. He's all up in here. <laughs> he's going nuts. Uh, <laughs> he's a little weirdo dog. Uh, and he's got a little hedgehog. He, uh, the, the foster care people gave us the hedgehog. I don't think he's the biggest fan of the hedgehog. Um, I think, uh, I think he prefers the pee pad. This is unused, by the way, but he is a menace. He just, like, takes the pee pad and runs with it. Uh, to be honest, he hasn't really had any accidents indoors, so that's, you know, fine. Um, we've just been taking him out. We're crate training him, so... You, know, you take him out of the crate and he goes and goes to the bathroom outside and stuff like that. So uh, the pee pad is, has, has thus far been useless, except for as a toy. You can see he's like gnawing at the, oh, oh, okay. Yep. I guess that's where you're gonna do it. I'm gonna go take him outside now. All right, so that was some truly excellent pee pad usage right there. He likes to do this thing where if you take him outside, he just sits on your feet and that's it. <laughs> Hell, we got the we got the first ever pee pad usage live on camera, dude. Absolutely nuts. Look how cute this guy is. He's unbelievably cute, dude. The latest member of Basement Gang right here. Potentially Neville Longbottom the dog. He is pretty brave, man. He's pretty heroic too. You know, he saves that hedgehog from uh, from all sorts of demons and things. He's 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 a champ. He's an absolute pog champion at this point. He's not the biggest fan of grass, but he's pretty curious about it thus far. Um, this is like California grass, so it's very harsh. It's not what I'm used to. I'm used to like Massachusetts grass, which is very soft. So he actually chews it up, and I wonder if the texture of like the hard grass he likes. So uh, he'll like bite it and, and play with it. Basically, everything is a toy for this guy. <laughs> he's... He just loves everything, man. He likes to march on the leash. He's a leash marcher, dude. <laughs> he stumbles around. He's not very good at walking right now. He's, he's kind of got to learn. I think um, his foster parents kind of kept him in a pen with his mom and his siblings. Uh, and for good reason, too. You, you can't really 
mingle these dogs with other foster dogs yet unless they've all had their shots um and he's too young to have his the rest of his vaccines so um you know he wasn't able to socialize and really walk around so i think he's still kind of learning how to walk so he kind of he kind of fumbles a little bit he's a little goofy he's definitely a little bit goofy but he's so cute <gasps> hello hello youtube okay so this is his first ever treat let me say this thing sound or smells scrumptious <laughs> like it smells like delicious like homemade beef jerky or something or like bacon I'm, I'm keeping his leash on him so he can get used to it. Okay, the pillow's not helping. Uh, so he can get used to having it on him because um, he's he really doesn't like it right now. So he kind of needs to just get used to it. Is this what he does with the treat? <laughs> I would eat those treats. They smell so good. Yo, can I zoom in? Ah, that's my finger. <laughs> oh, Neville Longbottom. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like the name Neville? Do you think I should try and convince my uh, my family to adopt the name Neville or, or what? You guys got name suggestions? Let me know in the comments. I, I, I'd like to hear some good pupper name suggestions, what you guys think he should be called. Um, See, so yeah, I've got this little training book here and I'm trying to uh, trying to do it right, um, but it's very difficult because, uh, <laughs> you know, he kind of does what he wants to do. Right now, he, you know, he doesn't want to, um, you know, learn how to walk or anything just yet. But he's just a puppy, you know. You get, it's gonna take a few weeks to get him on the training board. I, I think he's, he's like mauling his tree. He's not. He's he's enjoying it. It's a taster, you know. He's not a, he's not an animal. He's he's you know enjoying that treat to its fullest. He's not gonna hoover it down. That's that's the sign of a good boy right there. All right. I'll be back and see. I want to see if like uh, there's anything I should do specifically right now to like train him to uh, do things. I, I know with the bathroom, take him immediately outside anytime he has an accident. Uh, crate train him whenever he's in the crate and you take him out of the crate, immediately take him outside. You know, get him used to the idea of going to the bathroom outside. But I'm wondering if there's anything else I can do right now to train him. He is going nuts on this tree. He lost the tree. Dude, it's over there. <laughs> Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's going nuts. Ah. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. Neville, <clears throat> or maybe Neville. <laughs> we don't know the name. Um, has settled down now. Uh, he was a very good boy. Uh, and now he's just chilling in his crate. Oh. And commences the whining. So in order to stop the whining, you basically just have to walk away. From the dog book I've learned about, you know, he doesn't know what a crate really is. Or, well, he's never been in one. So to get him crate trained, uh, you just have to walk away and uh, let him exhaust himself and don't reward the, the whining, kind of. Uh, so either way, that's going to be the video for today, guys. I, I just had to do a video showing off uh, the new pup. He's so cute. Um, let me know any name suggestions in the comment section below. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.